Hello, my friends. Happy September. I couldn't be more fucking jazzed about this program and about the people that I've been connecting with, the beings and soul beings and light beings. I'm just, thank you. Thank you. Let's um, definitely, I'm gonna hit the ground running. Let's just make sure that, you know, this is, you know, going to be a weekly video, it looks like, just because I like to put a lot of oomph in them. But make sure that those cicadas, they're fucking, fucking all over the place. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite sounds in the whole wide world. And um, just end of summertime. It's just so gorgeous. But so let's look at... Make sure that you do a debrief with yourself for the end of August and do a monthly review and just say, you know, just usually I'll do two or three journal prompts. What did I do well? What do I want to improve upon next month? And what, like, you can do a third one of, you know, what am I leaving behind? Or kind of the third one can be depending on the first two. If the first two... Like if number one, what did I do well? If you have a huge list and then you you know only have a few things that you want to improve upon, just be like, okay, what am I completely letting go of this month and moving forward that it's just not even a part of my life anymore? Like cut ties to that reality, cut ties to that version of yourself. But if it's the other way around where you only really feel like you smashed it a little bit and that the rest of the list is like, fuck, it was a transitional month, I want to improve, blah, blah, blah. Just really highlight I did this so well and it's now completely like it's it's integrated it's incorporated into my systems into my being so definitely like always like do it like a little compliment sandwich with yourself like good not so good how am I going to be better moving forward so that's kind of like the generalness of it good what do I want to improve and how am I incorporating that moving forward always stay forward thinking on this one and August, because of the Leo season, was just an incredibly gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous month. Like anything that you touched literally turns to gold. So definitely like, where was I creative? Look at all the things that we went through. How did my incorporation of my five minute habit go? How did my artistic creations go? Where do I feel beautiful and gorgeous and then I can let my sun shine? So definitely close out the month with reverence and with excitement. Um, I'll make sure to pull a dragon for us for September. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we're going to need a dragon. So I'll pull the name of that uh, dragon for September. We do dragons month to month because those, those guys are badass. They're, they're um, protectors and help bring divinity into our lives. So September, we're going to do the first through the 11th. Why? Because I said so. <laughs> Literally, that's what I wrote down. I was like, 1 to the 11th, why? Because it's like we're starting in the middle of the month, and I love to start the weeks, as we know, on Mondays. So we're going to do the first to the 11th. So we have some really cool transits happening during that time. We have our new moon that's going to be on the 7th. That's at 14 degrees of Virgo. So I'll leave the link for um, where you can download your free birth chart um, from Astro Charts. So I'll leave that link there. Look at where this falls in your chart. As this is new moons, as we know, we're planting seeds, we're manifesting, we're making magic, we're asking the universe to provide us. We're planting seeds so that will sprout into manifestations later on. So look at where Virgo falls in your chart. Um, I'll explain a little bit through my lens. This is falling in my right smack dab in the middle of my 10th house of career and legacy and the mark that I want to leave behind professionally in the world. So I'm going to be really looking to manifest and I have been building up to this. I mean, you've been following on this journey, so you know that I've really been putting in a lot of the foundation for this and really looking towards, okay, what really stuck? What felt good? What do I want to keep building on? And what feels inherent? What feels joy filled? Where do I feel powerful? That's something that we can take into Virgo season from Leo season is where did we feel powerful? Like that badass lion. Um, because Virgo is all about 
usefulness and making some, like making something that's of use. Virgos want to be a part of the greater system and make it clean, have a very competent list to go with it and be like, they can almost borderline on like the negative side of perfectionism, but they want to do it right. So look at where Virgo falls in your chart because my 11th house, it, my 10th house starts at Leo and then Virgo is a part of it, but my 11th house starts in Virgo. So for me, my place in the greater community is always, I, I know where I fit, I know where you fit, I know where everybody fits. And it's like, that's just the Virgo in, the Virgo in my chart. So um, what else can we really look at? So where does this 14 degrees of Virgo fall in your chart? What house does that fall in? Because just because for me, it's in my house of career, doesn't mean that you're going to be working towards things that are career based. I have another client of mine that this falls in their fourth house of house and home, and that they're really going to be where can I find order in my home? Funnily enough, they just purchased a home not even a few weeks ago, like signed the papers. So it's pretty freaking cool that now they get to make their lists on moving and organizing and just like starting over anew and freshed. So those manifestations for myself and this client are going to be so different. Same thing for you. If you're having trouble, reach out directly. If you download your birth chart and you have no idea what you're doing with it, reach out directly and we can book a session and we can go over 101, what the houses are, all of those different things. Like really, we can work around your budget and make sure that this works. I want to be helpful to you. So at least you have the foundational tools to know what's going on in these conversations. I don't want you to feel in any way like this is outside of your realm of capacity because it's not. I promise you it's not. This is applicable stuff that we can utilize in our everyday lives. This is as plain as the nose on my face. I've been watching a lot of um, The Wizard of Oz, so those are my references there. Um, what is the other trans... I was cut off just there. My apologies. Technology is not my strong suit. Um, on the 10th, Venus is going into Scorpio. So watch out. Our planet of yin and sexuality and sensuality and loveliness and the way that we feel good and like love and understand love is going into Scorpio, which are the sexiest badass bitches in the fucking Zodiac. So just look out. We're going to be sassy. We're going to be feeling great. We're going to be feeling sexual, but a little bit like mysterious. Mysterious as fuck. This is a swearing video. It must be Virgo season. <laughs> but really, so look at where, um, actually, that's another thing that you could definitely be looking at is look at where Venus or look at where Scorpio falls in your chart because that's where Venus is going to be kind of transiting and um, that's going to be a beautiful space for for me that's going to be in the end of my 12th house going into my first house so I'm going to feel super sassy when it comes to my my legacy and the death and rebirth and then the store window version of myself like it's oh my god I'm like literally just processing this now it makes so much sense like I've been doing performance and all of these things and really letting my entire persona or not persona, um, creative expression side of myself, that artistic side that we've been nourishing, I'm letting it be a phoenix and just kind of letting go of all of the negatives and just letting it flourish and be whatever it is meant to be. So look at where Scorpio is in your chart because that's going to be a fun, beautiful space. And, um, if there are ever any questions, reach out directly because I never want to feel like anyone is left out in these things. So what were my journal prompts that I wanted to do? Remember where we let our sunshine last month? Where is that in your life? And where can we find a little bit more practicality in that? We know that this world needs more art, more creative creativeness, more artistic expression in every single capacity. So really look at what you were drawn to last month and kind of look at it with a fresh lens. Like be your own manager and be like, hey, 
you know, I can, I can do this in a way that feels really cool. I can add this into my life. Maybe there's someone else that I know that loves creating this type of art or that loves doing these things. It could be as big as small as you want it to be. I was driving past the boulevard the other day and I saw these three ladies knitting together, just sitting on the water knitting. And I love knitting. I miss knitting. And it's, that's creating art. That's creating something really special. So definitely look at what you would kind of around the full moon enjoyed creating and um, see how we can make that a little bit more of a practical skill set in the next month. So that's what we've got for the 1st to the 11th of September. I'm very excited. And as always, message or um, comment below on what is working and what is not working. It's definitely because it's Virgo season, I have so many lists about what I did well, what I didn't do well. Uh, one request that I got, um, I think it was on Instagram actually, was that my audio here isn't really as fluid as it should be and sometimes it feels muffled. My sincerest apologies, I'm actually getting new microphone systems and all that jazz. So it's going to be an exciting month of kind of learning and understanding technology in a new way. So I'm excited feel like I'm upgrading and really stepping into my power. Um, it's That's a word that I really am trying on for size from Leo season is where do I feel powerful? So let me know if I can be helpful to you. Remember that Virgo is a Mercury ruled sign. So as much as it is an earth sign, you're going to want to be figuring things out. It's mutable. Things are going to be changing. So if you feel a little bit confused every once in a while, Make a list, journal, clean out your closet, do things that are very like, um, how do I say, instant gratification in a clean way. Like do the dishes and then like scrub out the sink or something like that. Do the little things that actually make a big difference. I think that's it. I love you. I'll see you in a few days and I'm always here. It's going to be a fun month got lots of retrogrades going on. We've got lots of changes and shifts. So I'm excited to be here with you. Bye-bye.